tractors out there and the puppies. I got a whole dog pack following me away from the farm. I'm gonna see how far we get. I got Rocky on the baler. Nice being patted. And all three puppies. The fourth one we gave away to a new owner. And yeah, we're all the way out here. See that? The house is like right over there. You can see the big barn. So the farm is right around there. And the puppies followed the parents out here. Three of them. We gave Coco away and she has a new name and a new home. And she's having fun there. So one of the, we got three now. One of them has moved on to a new home. Rocky's still on the baler. Here we are out in the bush. I just did a bunch of running. Sophie, come here. Come here. Good Sophie, come here. Rocky, he always comes, he's fast. And there are his children. Three puppies. Gave, we gave Coco to a new owner. Or sold her. You know, these dogs are worth something, so we had to sell them for something. They're learning how to be wolves. They look, they follow Rocky everywhere. I can't even run as fast as them. They're fast. Rocky, come here, come here, come here. And if Rocky comes, they usually all follow him. Come here, come here. Good boy. Excited wolf. You have puppies. These puppies follow him. They're doing pretty good. I think the black one looks the most like a border collie. The little one looks like a blue healer, rosy. And the other big one looks almost more like a St. Bernard or something. It looks a lot different. I think it was logged in here. That's why the bush is so open. There's a sawmill tree over there. That's a big old poplar. I love these cattle trails. See, this is cattle trails. I love these cattle trails because, you know, I used to have a dirt bike and this would be fun to ride in here with a dirt bike. You know, if you could get over the trees. There's a swamp in here. That's a bone. Sometimes the odd cow will, the odd old cow will die of old age. And I think sometimes they die in the bush. Like here's a, an old skull. I think that's a cow. Or, or is it a cow? I don't know what type of skull that is. It's very old though, it died like more than 10 years ago. So something died out here. But that's fairly common for farms. You know, they'll lose one cow of old age or whatever the cause is. It's pretty, very common. And the dogs are already completely gone. They come back though. Like. Nice cattle trails in here. We find a snowmobile in here in winter time. There's a few good sawmill trees in here, like those two. You can get those for lumber. And sometimes cottonwood is good too. You know, there's, some cottonwoods don't have a lot of branches. So, like something like these, but thicker. They don't have a lot of branches. They'd be good for lumber as well. Bush video. There's a, pretty, there's a pretty big tree over here. That's a cottonwood tree. I think cottonwoods and other places don't have as thick a bark. This is a Canadian cottonwood. It has thicker bark. 
I mean, you could make, you know, almost up to that limb of, like, that's like 20-foot boards. So, not worth cutting the whole tree down, but... Like, some trees are like that. They have hardly any branches all the way up to the top. There's some big ones around. And my uncle had used to... He cut those years ago. He used to mill some boards. He milled some cottonwood. Like the most trees we get around here are birch, spruce, pine, and cottonwood, and poplar. And I think there's some alders, alderwood trees as well, and willows in the swamp. Might be a few other kinds I'm not thinking of, but that's the general natural bush trees. They came out again. There's a dog family. So I guess that's it for this short little video.